What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Palette and Gardening Edition. Yes, it's your boy Ricky Jones Jr. And in this video, I will be remodeling, reorganizing, reclassifying the garden as you see it right here, okay? So I did a video uh, last week, some time ago, whatever, whatnot. I'll put a card, you just saw that pop up, where I said that I'm going to be re envisioning, reimagining, reorganizing this backyard garden. And today is the day that I'm going to start now. What I'm going to do is start in this area because this is the area in which all my greens and vegetables and all those things are so I am going to start here with the layout of what things will look like okay and then I will start to work my way over there all the way into the corner of the house so I have this section I have like four plots okay this is plot one and then we'll do the other ones later but this video is focused on this plot over here plot one section one section one sector one whatever you want to call it number one okay <laughs> And so what I'm going to do is move things around and I'm going to move them around and I'm going to tell you why I move the things around the way I move the things around because everything has a purpose. And if you are doing a backyard garden in your yard, you would like to know and need to know why I did what I did just in case. And so you can do those things in yours to have productivity, harvest, and the growth of the things in which you plant in your garden. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move and then I'll explain the move. But nonetheless, subscribe to the DKUJ family page. Okay. I mean, join us because there's so many other things that are come. Okay. So without further ado, let me go ahead and do what I need to do, which is get to sector one. Okay, beautiful people, as you can see, the new is here, and I had to explain it already done because it actually rained and it actually the next day. But I did put on the same clothes because I wanted you to get the same experience as if it was the same day. But nonetheless, here we are with the new layout, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, we start here with the garden. Like I said, I want it to be that once you come around the corner, which there is the corner, that you would see the garden and be affected by the essence of it, okay? And I'm gonna break down why I moved the different things, the way I moved the different things, so you know why I did different things. So we're gonna start here. Ha 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 ha. Here is the compost bin. It is here now. It was over there in the corner, but I've since moved it over here because it makes sense. Why? Because it's away from the garden. It was taking up great real estate, which actually was great sun space that I realized that it was actually soaking up and taking up. And I don't care about like this, getting the sun, all that good stuff. I do care about the greens and things over there getting the sun. But anyway, we have this over here now, okay? And then I also moved a three-tier container holder over here, which I did talk about putting herbs and things here. So I put it on this side. And because, hey, it's, it's over here next to the fruit and all that good stuff, and it just makes sense because it doesn't resemble or look like anything that is over here okay which i'm gonna get there okay but as you can see my seed tray starter is over here as well i'm telling y'all i did some moving y'all i did some work okay all by myself as you can see even up on the whole pillars and rocks and things it's sturdy okay it weathered the storm like for real for real so it's okay but i did it this way because the sun comes down here like comes down here and so everything you can even see like the condensation building up in this areas in the domes right now so it even shows you that the sun is taking its course on these things and giving it the proper sun and things that it needs and even you can see that we got a marigold plant starting to grow i'm even believing it's growing because of the move and so I moved it too because where it was over there, only one side of the seed starter tray was getting sun. But now where the position is now, everything gets sun. And so I don't have one side getting more sun than the other. Everything gets the proper and the same amount of sun, which is what you want for your seed starting tray. So, you know, if you're like me and you're growing things and trying things out and learning as you grow, you should know that you want everything, the front part, the majority of it to get 
the sun because you want the seeds to get the sun so that it can grow and you can then put it in your raised beds and gardens and things like that all right so let's go over here to sector one to see what actually took place with those moves you know incorporated as you can see the flower beds that were at the front are now up here okay now it may not be the final destination and resting place in for them but i put it here because i did not want it rested on the beds anymore like i did not want that i wanted the space to have the gap between the raised beds and the flower pots or flower containers whatever you want to call them so this is the way this is where I put them but I mean hey we'll see how close they get from there all right so let's go a little bit closer into sector one oh, boom there is the two tiered pallet holder it is there it was here but now it's there and I put it there because just like all the other sun situations it was over here and I believe that only the top half of the tier was getting all of the sun because as I was growing the plants um you could even see like the top parts these are the top layer those are popping and the bottom ones they're over there they're not really popping like they really aren't some of them are still like little seedlings so i realized and recognized that in order for each half each part to get the parts sun that's necessary for growth i need to put it over there and as you can see even right now the whole thing is getting the sun that is necessary both the top and the bottom so i believe already that was the right move so that leaves us with this area ricky what are you gonna do <laughs> well you should already know if you know me i'm gonna do something with some wood and i'm going to build single layer five gallon bucket container holders okay just like the ones i did on the giveaway on last week i'm gonna do it again on this one okay which i'm gonna do a video it'll probably be tomorrow where i I show you all that okay because I'm use some different kind of paint like I'm gonna start painting okay like as you grow and mature you have to do things better okay and I'm gonna start painting my uh, container holder so anyway that's that's that but anyway so I'm gonna do a single layer and another reason why I'm gonna do a single layer is because I don't want to block the Sun from my raised bed I do believe that with it being the height that it was it was restricting some of the Sun not all of the Sun but some of the Sun was being restricted due to the raised bed container holder situation being there blocking the Sun so with it being single layer that's that much Sun that can hit the raised beds and then mature and grow the things that are in the raised beds as well as the things that will be in the five gallon bucket so as you see them lined up here i'm gonna have the five gallon bucket holders lined up there they will go into the holders and be elevated because you don't want well i personally don't want things sitting on the floor because i don't like how it looks you know when it's buckets when it like bags like garden grow bags and things like that those look cool but the buckets really don't look cool to me so i'm gonna raise them up and then to keep things from like the slugs and you know all those things the creepy crawlers don't want easy access okay so the container holders is what i do and as you can see over here on the corner i have another area that i can have my bucket holders as I did already right here I had an extra one so I went on ahead and put it there to see what it looks like um, but then let me just even show you this is what the front layer of that situation grew to look like see like this is what these look like and that is what the top layer looked like radical difference top layer second layer so i believe that you can agree with me that that was a smart move because obviously they won't get in the same amount of sun clearly one was blocking the other but it's okay the change was made okay and so boom we have the two tier which i will do like my brussels sprouts my cabbage um my herbs and things like that because i do and i will grow some herbs to repel the pests and things from the cabbage like the cabbage moth flies and all those things the beetles and all that that attacks the cabbage and even the brussels sprouts so i'm gonna plant those amongst those as they grow so you know that's gonna be cool and and then even over here, I'm going to do like my sweet potatoes and things with the trellis. But then as well, I have this space where the seed tray holder was, which was right here. If you remember, I'm going to do another uh, five gallon bucket situation that will have my sweet potatoes as well. So I'm going to do some sweet potatoes over there, probably some sweet potatoes over there as well. But nonetheless, I have more space to do my five gallon buckets because that's what I love. That's what I love to do. That's what I love to grow in. And you'll see most of my videos having me doing those things. So I just want to show you all the anybody can actually grow and have a garden in their backyard on the back patio wherever you have space and sun you can have a garden okay so five gallon buckets is the way that i show and explain those things so at the end of the day this is my new layout this is my new area lavender like i said is going in rosemary is going in like i said i'm gonna do some more dill some more thyme i see like lemon basil people are talking about different things well i'm so excited 
<laughs> I'm so excited, y'all. I mean, I really can't contain myself because I already see where it's going to go. And I'm excited for what we already are in Sector 1. Remember, this is Sector 1 out of 4, okay? So Sector 1 already has the remodel going. And it's going together well. Of course, we will have some wood chips. Um, please let me know your colors. Only one person let me know black. And I did try black, and I didn't like how it turned out. So I'm still open. Brown, red, black, or just tan. Like, let me know. Sector 1, ladies and gentlemen. I think we are off to a marvelous start. I think we are doing great. I'm liking where things are, even in proportion to where they were, as far as the seed tray holder being over here with my table for assembly and all that good stuff. And then we have my raised situation over here. Then I'm gonna have my different herbs and things like that. Flowers, I'll probably have flowers, different pollinator flowers, things like that. Just, you know, something beautiful and just bouquet-ish to grow over here, you know? Just so when people turn around that corner and enter and they're like, oh, oh, it's not just vegetables. No, 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 boo-boo, there's more. <laughs> okay, so hey, that is what this is right now. and that's what it's gonna be so here we are ladies and gentlemen i'm excited for where we are excited for where we're gonna go and i'm excited to take you along the journey okay 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 so go ahead and subscribe so you can join with me and see everything grow and mature and be what i want it to be which is a paradise garden with flowers herbs and vegetables okay full of fun full of exciting activity and love all right with that being said i love you i see you on the next video okay okay which means tomorrow peace ha ha ha